Canada geese are some of the most well-recognized wetland birds in all of North America, and many people are familiar with the loud honking calls they make. But what do these calls actually mean? In this video, let's take a closer look at how Canada geese use their calls in different situations to convey some pretty cool information that can help us interpret their behavior and gain a window into what geese are saying when they make all that noise. Something that's important to realize is these honking sounds geese make are actually made up of two different sounds made by two birds in close proximity. One call made by the female is much shorter and higher pitched. And the male's call is more drawn out and slightly lower pitched. Because these sounds happen so close together in time, with the female calling immediately after the male, it can be very hard to hear this difference when you first start listening. However, with practice, it is possible to hear the difference between male and female goose calls. And it's important to remember that while this difference may be challenging for human ears, these sounds are abundantly clear to geese. And it's a big part of understanding the context of their communication because there are times when both the male and the female are honking together, and then there are other times when the male does a lot more of the honking. So a common scenario to observe is territorial interactions that primarily involve the male calling and making aggressive body language. Canada geese are extremely territorial about their nest sites and in early spring when you have pairs of geese approaching from the air, they will actually call out from a distance while they fly in to announce their arrival at the wetland. This sound can be heard from quite a long distance, and what you'll notice is that any geese who are already protecting nest sites in the wetland will then respond with some very loud honking calls and displays of aggression. But if you look carefully, you'll notice that in each pair, there is one goose that is much more alert and alarmed by their arrival, and this is the male. He gets very alert and begins honking in this loud kind of way, looking directly at the geese that are flying in. You can see him flipping his head back and moving towards the direction of the other geese to let them know this spot is taken. And the female gets in on it a little bit, but it's really the male that gets a lot more territorial until finally the arriving geese land in the water. There's a brief exchange of calls, and as long as that pair doesn't try to invade the other territory, things start to calm down pretty quickly. So we start to see by understanding the relationship between the male and female, as well as their relationship to the invading geese, it helps us unpack the underlying meaning of their calls. Now the other geese that are just arriving then do another display. They don't yet have their territory established and something that goose pairs do quite regularly during their courtship process is a sequence of displays that involves both the male and the female alternating calls together and doing this neck forward body language. This display is used as a sort of greeting or acknowledgement of their bond whenever courted pairs of geese arrive in a new location or if they've been feeding in different areas and then they come back together. This also gets done immediately following territorial encounters. So if we go back to that male who was so upset about the newly arriving pair, as the sequence starts to calm down a bit, you can see he actually turns his attention away from the invaders and back towards his partner, where they too go through this greeting sequence. So here you have two very different contexts, one territorial and one courtship, which on the surface can seem like very similar calls and behavior. However, on closer study, there are major differences in terms of which individuals are involved and where is their focus of attention. Canada geese, because they're so visually expressive, are particularly great teachers of how to read bird body language and correlate their behavior with the calls and sounds in order to understand their meaning. So the key to understanding the body language of Canada geese is that it's all in the neck. Neck movements are significant for geese because they indicate who is the target 
of their calls and attention. And these neck movements even provide us with an early warning sign. Before the geese start to make any kind of sound, they respond with alertness and neck raising. And then the second level of threat, you'll see their neck stretching out in the direction of the threat. And this part is very often associated with the goose honking. Then as the sequence evolves, they progress to raising their neck high in the sky and rapidly flipping their heads back and forth while calling. So if you watch for these behaviors and listen to these calls and spend some time just sitting by a wetland and watching geese more carefully, you will start to discern these different situations and you'll be able to understand why are they making all of this noise? Are they calling territorially towards a rival pair of geese? Are they doing courtship behavior just between themselves? Or are you seeing some kind of response for a predator? Like if there's an otter or a raccoon or coyote coming in, you would see more evasive action and calls directed towards the predator. So I'm gonna keep getting out there and watching what happens. I hope you do too. We're still a few weeks away before they start laying eggs, which means there's lots more excitement coming in the goose season. I'd love to know what have you been observing about the Canada geese in your area? And I will see you in the next video.